Thanks for show is celebrating the 175th anniversary of the Auckland A&P show with some very special guests. Tim Bettina's world champion Lumberjacks and Jills are in their 23rd year of entertaining crowds across the globe and we are lucky enough to be joined by Tim Bettina Shear herself, Lumber Jill, Saucy Sarah Perry and Lumberjacks Mark, Mark, now how do I say your last name? Boquin? Boquin, yeah. Boquin and Brandon Graves. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, first up, Mark, before we even start, can I hold your axe? Oh, yes. Oh, no. yeah. I thought this was a family show. Uh, you never asked me that, it's, Mel. It's, <laughs> I just wanted to play with the, the throwing axe. Okay, that's ticked off the bucket list. Uh, <laughs> let's, throw. Let's, oh, you want to throw that? Moving target? No, okay. Uh, Tina, you have been doing this um, this for ages. You've been competing yeah. as a lumberjack or lumber jill since, what, you're seven years old? Yep. Yeah. How'd you get started? I grew up in Hayward. Sarah and I both grew up in Hayward, Wisconsin which is the home of the Lumberjack World Championships. And they offered log rolling lessons to little kids years ago. They actually have had competitors from New Zealand coming over there for years too. But log rolling was kind of native to North America. And we started log rolling as little kids. And then, you know, some of the older axemen started taking us under their wing and taught us how to cross cut saw and speed climb and throw axes and chainsaw. And as uh, late teens, my brothers and I started a Lumberjack show in Wisconsin that serves the tourism industry in northern Wisconsin. And then we bought a truck and trailer and hit the road. Yeah. And that's all we've been doing our our whole life. And you've hit, ended up in New Zealand doing it as well, which is extraordinary. I know, it's really great. It's a blessing for us to come down. This is their first time to New Zealand. Sarah and I were here for the Royal Show last year. And it really is an honor for us to come back and perform. And we have such a blast working together. I can oh, imagine. Not, and you guys are just full of energy. I love it. Yes. Don't trouble. Know tell, yeah. Yeah, no, actually, no trouble. Um, okay, Sarah, what made you get into this? How did you get started? Well, like Tina said, I grew up in Hayward, and we joined uh, the log rolling team like you would join a soccer team. That right. was just second nature to us. So is it a bit of exercise or a bit of socialising? Well, it's oh. a little bit of both. <laughs> right. yeah, we discovered lumberjacks, then we started socialising. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Hey, Mark, um, you obviously are a lumberjack, not a lumberjill. I'm definitely not a lumberjill. Yeah. How long have you been in the business? What have you been? How did you get in? Uh, I actually got started in college. I grew up in a small town, kind of doing all sorts of outdoorsy things, and kind of grew up in the woods, always splitting firewood and stuff. So I pursued a degree in forestry, and at the college, they actually had timber sports on a collegiate level. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so I got started in college. I did well enough by the end of my college career where I, could st I started doing it professionally and competing all around the world. Fantastic. And Brandon, how long have you been with this team for and do you love it? Um, I, <laughs> I absolutely love it. I've been with Timber Tina for, I think, what, three years now? Yeah. And uh, it's the best sport in the world. There's no greater joy than sinking a razor sharp axe and do a log. <laughs> can, I, can I have a look at your axe? Yeah, your axe has obviously got a guard very, on it. Very careful. Because that's really what the World Cup. Cup. I don't know if I want to touch it if you take the, if you take the guard off it. What well, this is one a World Cup? Did you say this axe? This did you shave you your face on. with that? You could. You oh, could. Oh, I wouldn't watch so, it. Just be careful. Oh yeah, God! I don't know what the pressure of this. <laughs> this is one I'm not going to. I'm not going to wiggle around. So that's razor sharp. So I'm not going to test it with my finger. And it's a lot No, you could too. Yeah. You can shave with that. Luckily, I've done my legs this morning, so we're good. <laughs> oh, you missed a bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I know, sorry. So, Tina, tell us a little bit about some of the activities that you do in the show. I'm giving this one back, too, just quietly. <laughs> oh. Well, we're in a, uh, we do well, chainsaw. We have hot saws. We have souped up uh, stock saws. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do axe throwing, where you throw this axe at a target 20 feet away, and the center of the target's five foot off the ground. We're going to do Jack and Jill crosscut sawing. We have six foot long crosscut saws that we hid in a ski bag through custom pumpkin. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's another true. ski. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's really fun because we've got one more gal who's actually over in Sydney on her way here. And we'll do Jack and Jill teams with these guys. We do a little chainsaw carving. The guys are going to underhand chop where they stand on top of a log with that axe and chop it in two. They're swinging that six pound razor sharp axe about that far oh, from their toe. So that's, no. Have you ever, ever had any injuries? Oh, no. No, ac yeah. we've never had an accident. <laughs> How many? Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. I've been dying to use that line all morning. <laughs> and, and you've got all your fingers or your toes, haven't you? Yes, we do. Yeah, now we actually end up in the log rolling pond, which is. Well, what is log rolling? How does that work? Well, you stand on top of a log floating in water. Yeah. And all of the skills that we're involved in evolved from work that was done in the logging camps years ago. Right. When they were cutting trees to build our countries. 
And um, so Sarah and Allison are going to log roll. Right. And it's t a ton of fun. That's really difficult. And what's the objective with log rolling? Is it to get to the computer to roll? To stay up on top of the right. log the longest. Right. Yeah. OK, cool. So what's oh, the I longest see, yes. time there that you've log rolled right for? Like yeah. how, what's the longest time that you've been able to do that? Because that would be. In a competition, I did go over 45 minutes in my uh, junior amateur. Wow. Year. I was thinking you were going to say 45 seconds. I'd be oh, really no, impressed you have, you have different logs. Uh, you start off with one log, then go to a two, three, four. Uh, they get smaller as you go, and they're a lot quicker. And, uh, oh, good for your core muscles. And now they muscles. have number five, which I learned yeah. this year. Now, at the that sounds like something that you would do on, say, a show like um, Survivor, yes. which you were on back in 2006. Yes. That was pretty cool. And where did you go? Uh, we were down in uh, Panama and the Pearl Islands. Wow. And it was really, that was pretty cool to get selected for that show. I mean, they have 40,000 applicants every year and I made this really cheesy video that said I'm gonna chop through the competition I'm gonna <laughs> roll over them and I log rolled and chopped and sawed but yeah it was really it was really it was a great experience oh I you want to be a blast on that show yeah. and speaking of um, shows like that so you Mark were on a show called American Grit yes I was yep how did you go on that uh, I did really well. I ended up winning. It was the first season of American oh, Girls what, you John Cena. Yeah, wow. I went all the way and I won. Yeah, the whole season. The What's first John one. What's John Cena like? He's extremely genuine, nice individual. You know, it's cool because you you see people on TV, you don't know how they actually yeah. going to be, but he was so genuine and so nice. He'd come in before we start filming, just kind of, you know, hang out with us, talk with us, ask if we needed anything. He's so down oh, to earth, yeah. Good. I'm pleased really cool. to hear that. I'm oh, pleased yeah. to see that. And, and Brandon, I guess listening to where this has taken your fellow competitors, have you enjoyed being in New Zealand and what other parts of the world have you gone to? <laughs> Absolutely. And this is actually my first time out of the United States. So. Wow. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, all the way here. I'm yeah. the youngest one out of the group, so I haven't done much traveling. I just graduated college. What did they say about New Zealand to you? Did they say that we're pretty good at, in terms of our wood chopping skills? Well, some of my favorite <laughs> axemen are from New Zealand, so I know you guys are really good. Oh, nice. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. well, the show sounds like an Yeah, you guys class. are fun. Absolutely. Yeah, we want to <laughs> thank our sponsors for this year, too. We're sponsored by AEG Power Tools, and it's really an honor for us to come here and have a really great sponsor like that that goes hand in hand with the tough skills that we have yeah. as well. well and the great thing is Easter show is free to get into, so I'm sure he's going to come along and watch awesome. you guys. Yeah, I love the way you just got that one in there. Nice yeah. and <laughs> 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 it was no <laughs> accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't miss Tim Bettina's world yeah. champion Lumberjacks and Jills at the Royal Easter show, which is a free event mm. open to the public from today until Easter Monday at Auckland's ASB Showgrounds. Awesome fun. Thanks, guys. Okay, can't wait. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Okay, it wouldn't be Easter without a visit to the Easter show now, would it? So get along.